टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द मेल यूरेथ्रा इट इज द 18 टू 20 सेंटीमीटर इन लेंथ इट एक्सटेंड फ्रॉम द इट एक्सटेंड फ्रॉम द इंटरनल यूरेथ्रल ओरिफाइज इनसाइड द ब्लेडर यूर यू कैन सी दिस इज द यूरिनरी ब्लेडर एंड वी हैव कॉट द एंटी पार्ट ऑफ द यूरिनरी ब्लेडर सो इट एक्सटेंड फ्रॉम द इंटरनल यूरेथ्रल स्पिंगटर to extend uh, and it is end up to the external urethral orifice at the vertical slit at the glands of the penis so male urethra nearly 18 to 20 cm in length and uh, in the placid state the penis the long axis of the urethra so a two curvature it is a s shape uh, this is a slightly what up, upwards then downwards and then it is a placid so it is nearly s shape uh, uh, curvature of the urethra but during the erection of the penis the distal uh, curvature which is lost and it is nearly j shape it is nearly j shape so it extend from the internal urethral orifice at the neck of the urinary bladder here you can see this is the at the neck of the urinary bladder to the external urethral orifice or at the tip of the penis part of the urethra uh, in uh, some book it is mentioned as a, a pre prostatic part it is nearly uh, 1.5 cm or 2 cm prostatic part it is 3 cm membranous part inside the deep perineal pouch and the inside the shaft of the penis or penile part of the urethra longest part it is a penile part it is nearly uh, Uh, 15 cm 12 to 15 cm length it is a penile part membranous part it is only 1.5 to 2 cm prostatic part it is nearly 3 cm in length and pre prostatic part uh, in some book it is explained as a pre prostatic part it is 1.5 cm in length so these are the part of the urethra uh, we will not discuss the pre prostatic part because it uh, and some book mention at uh, mention as a, it is start from the internal urethral orifice to the uh, 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 sem, uh, it is extend up to the pre prostatic uh, neck of the bladder pre prostatic part by extend from the neck of the bladder uh, to the follicular seminalis but we, we will not consider as a pre prostatic part we will ex explain as a prostatic part now we will discuss about the prostatic part of the urethra it begins with the internal uh, orifice run vertically downwards it runs vertically downwards and through the anterior part of the prostate here you can see this is a prostate gland we have cut it so it uh, extend from the anterior part of the prostate it is a urethra and it is the widest and most distendible part of the male urethra begin a uh, widest into the middle part and narrowest where it join with the membranous urethra it is a uh, where it is joined with the membranous urethra it is the narrowest part of the urethra now we will discuss the posterior wall of the prostatic urethra here you can see this is a prostate gland and this is the blue color it is a urethra it is a posterior wall of the urethra there is a vertical ridge uh, uh, elevated area it is called the a uh, midline into the elevated area it is called the urethral crest or it is also called the viru montero and uh, middle part there is a elevated area it is called the colliculus uh, uh, middle part of the urethral crest which is elevated more elevated and it is the uh, it is called the uh, colliculus seminalis and inside the colliculus seminalis there is a middle part there is a opening of the prostatic uretic uterical and uh, on each side there is a opening of the ejaculatory duct it is a uh, formed by the ejaculatory duct which is formed by the uh, combination of the two duct mainly the uh, uh, vas deferens and the seminal vesicles both together it makes the ejaculatory duct and it uh, uh, ejaculate the semen uh, during the copulation the another thing it is the prostatic sinus on each side of the uh, viru monterum or urethral crest there is a space it is called the prostatic sinus and inside the prostatic sinus there are uh, 20 to uh, 30 prostatic glands which is open now the prostatic uterical this is the uh, posterior uterical 
Uh, this prostatic utericle, it is the blind sac inside the prostate, about 6 mm in uh, uh, long, which lies within the prostate and directed upwards and backwards. It directed upwards and backwards between the median and posterior lobe of the prostate and it is homologous uh, with the uterus or vagina inside the female. Now we will discuss the membranous part of the urethra. After the prostatic part, the blade, uh, urethra which is uh, inside the membranous part inside the deep perineal pouch or and it appears to appears uh, to the perineal membrane about 2.5 cm below and behind to the pubic symphysis with the exception of the urethral orifice it is the narrowest and least dilatable part of the urethra it is the uh, membranous part of the urethra and it is surrounded by the surrounded by the sphincter uh, sphincter urethra or it is called the external urethral orifice and it is a voluntary in controls and the uh, one is the bulbo urethral gland uh, or pooper glands this is the uh, female uh, uh, female so that's why you cannot see the bulbo urethral gland but uh, you can see there is a another a gland it is a greater vestibular gland which is you can see inside the females so uh, uh, just below to the, uh, there is a paraurethral gland uh, which is seen just below to the, after the membranous urethra, it is the, also called the duct of skin uh, of the, inside the female and inside the male it is the, uh, by the uh, bulbo urethral glands which is open inside the membranous urethra. So, uh, we already discussed Inside the male, there is a, in, uh, this is a membranous part of the urethra and which is covered by the uh, external urethral sphincter and at the pre-prostatic part or beginning of the uh, prostatic part, there is a internal urethral sphincter and it is, the, it is also called the sphincter vasica and it is a involuntary in nature while the uh, sphincter urethra, it is the skeletal muscles and it is a, a voluntary in nature. So, uh, after the membranous urethra, uh, inside the membranous urethra, inside the male, you can see there is a bulbo urethral gland and duct open inside the uh, spongy part of the uh, or bulbar part of the urethra. So uh, now the spongy part of the urethra, it is the last part of the urethra. It is also called the penile part of the urethra. It has a fixed part which runs downwards. Uh, it runs downwards and uh, upwards inside the uh, bulb of the penis and bend it downwards in front of the lower part of the pubic symphysis. It is the bend at the uh, lower part at the pubic symphysis to continues as a pre part and lies within the carpus uh, spongiosus of the penis and terminate as a external urethral orifice and it is uh, inside the glands of the penis as a vertical slit. Uh, inside here, uh, this is the panel part of the urethra. You can see uh, this part, very small part. This is the prostatic part. Here you can see this is a prostatic glands. This part, it is a deep perineal pouch. In previous lecture, we already discussed this is the dorsal nerve of penis along with the dorsal vein of the penis. Here you can see this is a dorsal vein of the penis. And also you can see this is a dorsal artery of the penis. So all three structure which is lies inside the deep perineal pouch and this is a superficial transverse perineum and this is a deep transverse perineum. So this part of the penile urethra, it is a, a, a membranous part of the urethra and inside there is, there is a presence of the uh, sphincter urethra, it is a voluntary in nature, we have not dissected here. and. Uh, uh, this part which is lies after the membranous part, it is called the spongy part of the urethra and it is initially it goes uh, uh, like this way, it goes forwards and then it goes downwards but up at the erection of the penis, this part which is remain straightened and it is called the erections of the penis, it remains straight. So, uh, penile part, it is the longest part of the uh, urethra or it is called the spongy part of the urethra. Here there is a, we have dissected, this is the uh, two muscles, uh, this is a bulbospongiosus. Uh, these are the both the sides you can see, this is a bulbospongiosus. And we have opened the 
दिस पेनाइल यूरेथ्रा और स्पॉन्जी यूरेथ्रा इन साइड द बल्बो स्पॉन्जियोस यर यू कैन सी दिस इज अन दिस इज अ बल्बर पार्ट ऑफ द यूरेथ्रा एंड इट इज द डायलेटेड पार्ट इट इज कॉल द बल्बर पोसा एंड द अनदर पार्ट ऑफ द पेनाइल यूरेथ्रा विच इज डायलेटेड इन साइड द ग्लांस ऑफ द पेनिस इन साइड द ग्लांस ऑफ द पेनिस एंड दिस फोसा इट इज कॉल द नेविकुलर फोसा ऑफ द यूरेथ्रा एंड द Another narrowest part, it is the vertical part uh, of the. It is the external urethral orifice. It is the vertical part. It is only four mm in uh, diameter. Normally, the spongy diameter of the urethra it is nearly six mm in diameters. So, different uh, places, uh, different places, the uh, shape of the urethra which is different inside the prostatic urethra. it is a semi uh, semi lunar in shape or it is the fusiform in shape in membranous part uh, this part of the urethra which is nearly stellate in st uh, shape or star shape inside the spongy part of the uh, uh, here inside the spongy part of the urethra it is a transverse slit like appearance and at the external urethral orifice the urethra it is a vertical slit in uh, shape so different places there is a different uh, shape of the uh, urethra uh, and now we will discuss about the lymphatic drainage the uh, prostatic part and the membranous part of the urethra mostly it is drain into the internal iliac lymph node and partly into the external iliac lymph node while the spongy part uh, uh, which is the open inside the deep inguinal lymph node and Uh, some may end into the superficial inguinal or maybe external inguinal lymph node a uh, clinical anatomy of the urethra sometimes the there is a retention of the urine mainly due to the stone or carcinoma or whatever uh, at that time we will do the catheterizations here we have cut the spongy part of the urethra so the rods which is come out normally uh, we will do the catheterizations uh, whenever there is a retention of the urine which is occur at that time uh, such rubber or metal catheter we introduce from the external urethral orifice and we can remove the urine by the to uh, <coughs> to prevent the retention of the uh, uh, urinary bladder so uh, to prevent the retention of uh, uh, urine inside the urinary bladder so it is a catheterization of the uh, urinary bladder sometimes there is a rupture of the urethra uh, it lead to there is a extravasation of the urine and uh, uh, we yesterday we uh, already discuss it goes in inside the superficial inguinal space it is the space between the uh, space between the external oblique and there is a fascia scarpa and uh, it reach up to the axilla but it does not uh, goes beyond to the golden slide sometimes there is a infection of the urethra it is called the urethritis sometimes sometimes there is a stricture of the urethra uh, uh, it is a constriction of the ure urethra result of the chronic infection and there is a hypospadiasis commonly anomaly where there is a external urethral orifice which is open at the uh, ventral surface under beneath to the penis or ventral surface of the penis there is a opening of the urethra it is called the hypospadiasis epispadiasis it is a very rare condition uh, when there is a urethra open on the dorsal of uh, dorsal of epispadiasis uh, it is a rare condition in which there is a urethra open on the dorsal surface of the penis it is called the uh, epispadiasis and some it is mostly along with the ectopia vasica